the, you see they're digging that, that deeper. Normally I wouldn't um, that close to a, a created bun because of that water flowing over that bun and going down in. I could cause erosion, but we're going to put a spillway in there and we're rocking it really hard. So we created a deep hole at the bottom so we could spread that water out and slow that velocity down so it goes through the rest of the wetlands. Also, because we went down here, we're not going to have to put as high a bund up down below. So that, there's that trade-off there. We want to keep those bunds low, uh, going across. We probably won't ex excavate too much of that grass down below where he's excavating now because that'll be under about that much water. So if we want that to grow up, we want to plant that with, with emergence, so we wanted it shallow anyways. The next pond down is going to be a small one, um, and we're not, hopefully we're not going to have to build too much of a bund out because we've got that natural clay vein already moving in. We'll just build that end up and spill across that vein. If we get rid of the stream, and this was just a wetland that was catching surface water coming off the land here, I would spill across where this grass is. We'll walk down and see what they're doing down here. They're doing a little bit of sediment control stuff. There's a couple options around draining ditches, and one's called a two-stage ditch design, where we take and create a floodplain in the drainage ditch. So we take this drainage ditch and go right above what the mean level is, summer levels are, and create floodplains and plant those up in native sedges. And if you do that for a length of time, you get a really good reduction of nutrients. So there's a lot of tools in the toolboxes to reduce those nutrient levels here. Um, and what, what you find is when we do that, um, that what well, they call it two-stage system design because you develop that second stage there, is that the stream actually starts developing a meander in that stage. And, and, and as that develops a meander, it gets really better at removing nutrients. The drain, it'll go up and in a flat on both sides and then up to, to the level. And, and those flats are usually planted up. And in the U.S. where they developed this 20 years ago, they put these in and they've never done drainage maintenance afterwards.